How do you feed a space crew on a trip to Mars and back, which could last years? The answer could be, according to a team of UK scientists, to grow your own food en route. With funding from the Bezos Earth Fund, Imperial College London is investigating how food can be produced sustainably with just a handful of cells and a bioreactor. Full power and lift off. On Tuesday, this lab in a box named Space Lab lifted off on board a SpaceX Falcon 9. It's a miniaturized laboratory where cells can be turned into mini factories producing useful products. Dr. Rodrigo Ledesma Amaro is directing Imperial's research. He hopes that even a short time in microgravity will reveal if their cells can produce a variety of products, from biodiesel to vanilla ice cream. Just think that an astronaut consumes between half a kilo and 1.5 kilograms of food per day, and every kilogram we ship to space can be 20,000 uh, US dollars. So imagine every meal can be something like uh, 10,000 dollars. So what, what if we just make the food we need in space? Uh, instead of bringing it from Earth. Food has already been grown in space, such as these lettuce leaves at the International Space Station. But Akil Shamsul, who co-founded Frontier Space, which developed the mini-lab, says its size and weight are an advantage. The heavier it is, the more expensive it will be. And what we're trying to do is reduce the cost and make it more accessible. He hopes the technology can widen access to microgravity and in space manufacturing. That way we, you know, we, can, we can manufacture, let's say, cancer drugs in space and bring it back down for research or therapeutics. But down the line, when we have the moon base, we need these kind of bioreactors to be able to really sustain permanent settlement of human civilization in this environment.